Fasting is commonly associated with the Islamic holy month of Ramadan. Billions of Muslims around the world fast from dawn until dusk as part of their declaration of faith. While fasting for Ramadan is down to spiritual beliefs, there is quite a negative stigma associated with not eating. So what happens to the body when fasting? The body has three fuels, glucose, fats, and proteins. The essential fuel is glucose, which the body absolutely needs in order to function. The brain cannot do without it. But after a day of fasting, the glucose supply is exhausted. How does the body adapt? It soon makes glucose from protein, and particularly from that found in the muscles. It will also draw on its reserves of fat to create a substitute for glucose. This fasting fuel is known as ketone bodies. It is these ketone bodies that will be the main food supply for the brain. The work is done by the liver, which is a real factory for transformation in the body. Faced with starvation, the body triggers an alert. This sets off the hormonal and endocrine changes. The hormones mobilize the body's reserves. Some also have an anti-inflammatory effect. It is these self-regulatory mechanisms that produce therapeutic effects. Many aspects of blood composition improve. For instance, the levels of glucose, cholesterol, triglyceride and insulin. Meanwhile, the energy expenditure of the body gradually decreases. Breathing and heartbeats slow down and blood pressure drops. The digestive system goes into a state of rest. Critics of fasting continued to brandish a compelling argument. Fasting is dangerous. Fasting can be dangerous because as the body feeds on its own resources, it's using up its reserves of protein. But the muscles are composed of protein and the heart is a muscle. When half of the proteins have disappeared, death follows. So what are the facts? How can we know the body's limits for fasting? It's impossible to conduct such experiments on humans for obvious ethical reasons. But the study of wildlife can provide an answer. In the frozen lands of the Antarctic continent, there's a strange bird that's fascinated scientists for decades. The male emperor penguin practices fasting spontaneously in his colony on the ice. While he is sitting on the egg waiting for the female to return, the male is able to go without food for as much as four months. Is the emperor penguin a professional faster, with mechanisms that don't exist in man or in other animals? We can divide the fasting process into three phases. Remember, the body depletes its reserves of glucose within 24 hours. From then on, it produces its own protein reserves. A second phase starts, in which it economizes on protein and makes use of lipids instead. This phase can last for a long time depending on the supply of fat available. In penguins, it can last for a hundred days without problems. But little by little, the fat reserves are depleted. When 80% of the stock of fat has gone, the proteins are no longer saved. The animal enters phase three and must eat before it's too late. But do other animals have the same mechanism? For instance, with rats, animals that don't have the reputation of being professional fasters. How did the rats adapt to fasting? Surprisingly enough, the results were similar. During phase two, the rat saves its proteins in the same manner as the penguin. So there is no difference. A basic fasting mechanism which allows the individual to survive long periods of starvation is a common mechanism. This observation can now be applied to the human body. Research has shown that an adult 1 meter 70 tall, weighing 70 kilos, has around 15 kilos of fat reserves. Enough for a healthy person to keep going for 40 days. So, fasting, instead of being something dangerous, which, at least within the limits, we have identified presents no danger. The situation we have today with regular meals and a well-stocked fridge is a historical anomaly. 
So it's not surprising that the body encounters difficulties when it doesn't fast and eats constantly. Islam prescribes fasting once a year for the whole month of Ramadan and is highly recommended to fast Mondays and Thursdays and the 13th, 14th and 15th days of every Islamic month with the intention to get closer to your Creator. Proven benefits of fasting Boosts your metabolism Supports fat loss Helps to clear skin and get rid of acne Encourages better insulin sensitivity Lowers blood pressure Decreases blood sugar Promotes heart health May slow aging and enhance longevity Decreases inflammation Improves cell recycling Improves brain function Improves your immune system Enhances recovery from injury Enhances the body's resistance to stress Can help prevent and fight against cancer Side effects of fasting Dehydration Headaches Hypoglycemia And heartburn 